All right, calling in from the Brickyard right now, uh, the greatest spectacle in racing indeed. NBC Sports presents the 104th running of the Indianapolis 500 this Sunday on NBC. Coverage begins at 1 Eastern time with our buddy Mike Tirico hosting along with guest studio analyst, analyst Danica Patrick at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And calling the race with Townsend Bell and Paul Tracy is none other than Lee Diffie joining us from Indianapolis. How are you, sir? Hi, Rich. I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing better for talking to you. How excited are you? Really. Very, very excited. We've just wrapped up um, the final practice, uh, which is carb day, and an old tradition of you know back in the day where they used to tune, tune the cars and fine-tune the carburetors. Well, there haven't been, hasn't been an Indy car with a carburetor in it since the early 1960s. Yes, right. But, <laughs> right. you know, every, everything here is all about tradition, so they keep the name and Basically, it's just the last the last opportunity for the field of 33 to practice and just go through some maybe some race simulations and see how the car feels in a lot of traffic as opposed to last time we were on track when it was qualifying. So, yeah, just one last hit out before things get real. Well, speaking to the uh, those who are, you know, behind the wheel, um, you know, obviously wanting fans there, it's, it's, a, it's a big part of it. It's not like that they, they haven't done this, i.e. race in a pandemic before, but what's it going to be like, you think, in that brickyard on Sunday for this? Oh, it's, it's really quite sad, to be honest. Um, you know, I'm, I'm standing in the pagoda on the ninth floor right now in our commentary booth, and I'm, I'm looking over the front straight. I'm actually watching them paint the white line just before the yard of bricks uh, just to make sure everything looks terrific for Sunday. And um, it, it's really quite an eerie feeling. It's very surreal because of the enormity of the venue. And usually when we're here, there's in excess of 300,000 people here. And uh, you look around, I'm looking out the windows now, and to see just the mass of grandstands, but not the mass of people, it feels strange. I guess we're kind of getting used to it, but I think Sunday is when, is when the, we will all, including the drivers, we will all feel the, the real impact and, the, and, and, and we're, we're greatly missing the fans. So uh, it, it, it's something that I never thought I'd experience. And certainly not here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Well, I'm glad that we made it to this time. I mean, obviously, it's been several months since the race was uh, postponed, but we made it. Everyone, there's got to be a nice, great sense of accomplishment, however, that's uh, that's overtaking the uh, the event right now. I'd imagine, Lee. Absolutely, absolutely. And somebody somebody told me the other day, which is a really good one liner. You know, this is this is the race that this pandemic can't stop. And I thought that, you know, that's a pretty bold statement, but it's true and it's great. And, you know, Roger Penske, the, the billionaire businessman and 18-time winning team owner in IndyCar and the Indy 500, you know, he said uh, with the acquisition of the series and the acquisition of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway earlier this year, you know, he said during the early phases of the COVID-19 pandemic saying, look, we will have fans at the Indy 500. And that was a very bold and optimistic statement from Roger, but he's doing because you know, he has memories of when he came here in 1951 with mm. his father and he got to put on a helmet and sit in a race car. And that fan experience changed his life. And so, you know, he, he is all about the fans. And so he took that bold step and made that bold statement because he thought he might be able to pull it off. In the end, like so many other sports, um, we've had to listen very carefully to local health officials, the CDC, you know, government guidance, etc. And um, so it wasn't it wasn't to be. But I, I think the next best thing is, you know, uh, it falls upon us on NBC Sports to give the fans at home the best show that we can. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.